brothers and sisters, almost always children in the second grade make their first confession. Almost always it happens in the midst of an early evening. There's a prayer service, and then confessions are offered by three or four priests and the different confessionals around the church. Parents and family members are with the children on this night. And after the confessions, there's a party, and there's certificates for each child. And very often, the scripture reading for this prayer service of first reconciliation is the gospel that we've just heard. I think we choose this passage to some extent because Zacchaeus was a little guy, but also because Many children like to climb trees, but even more so because Jesus saw just how good Zacchaeus could be. And Jesus wanted to forgive Zacchaeus for being a traitorous tax collector, and Jesus wanted to be close to Zacchaeus, just as Jesus wants to forgive our children and Jesus wants to be close to them. Well, now let's take an adult look at this passage. What will you do to see Jesus? And of course, I ask myself that question too. What do we do to encounter Jesus? What will you do to see the face of Jesus? What will you do to translate Jesus from a dogma you better not disbelieve in to a person who's at your side. Perhaps a starting point is to trust faith, which is uncomplicated, unsophisticated, and childlike. Really, none of us as big as we as we'd like to be, or as grown up as we'd like to think we are. And Jesus loves us like a big brother, or an uncle, or a grandparent. Jesus wants us to be with him, just as he desired to visit with Zacchaeus. We need to receive the Lord with the simple and basic faith of a child. We need to not necessarily have the answer to all the divine mysteries. It's good to just be content to let the mysteries reveal themselves. Zacchaeus climbed a tree. He did not worry about how it would appear. He took the risk of falling. He went to a great effort to see Jesus. Many of us do something like that. We make a great effort. We make pilgrimages to holy places in order to encounter Jesus. Sometimes we work with the poor in order to encounter Jesus. We go on retreats, we take classes, we read books which are so scholarly that they make climbing a tree look easy. We develop a daily rhythm of prayer. We go to confession and mass and adoration, all so that we can see Jesus, all so that we can encounter and be encountered by Jesus. Climbing a tree can be risky, and faith is risky. We realize, some might say, we're wasting our time being a person of faith. We take the risk that it might all be for nothing. But that's what faith is. It's a calculated risk that brings us closer to Jesus, it brings us closer to God, it brings us closer to the Holy Spirit deep down inside of us. If we only seek to encounter Jesus in ways that we're guaranteed of no change or 
no challenge, and us being in control of the situation, well then, then we'll never encounter Jesus. We'll simply encounter our image of Jesus made to our own specifications. And Zacchaeus was obviously a tax collector. He's one who collected taxes from his own people. He was not too well regarded by his own people, probably despised and seen as one who had sold out to the oppressive government. But he still knew that he was worthy of Jesus. And he sensed that Jesus had a place in his heart for him. We are able to encounter Jesus when we have confidence that Jesus desires to encounter us. Zacchaeus also trusted that his desire to change his life and to give generously to the poor would be a doorway to his encounter with Jesus. Not only that doing so is sharing in the ministry of Jesus and doing what's right, but also that as he became less secure in his personal finances, he would somehow be cared for by the generosity of God. And so brothers and sisters, Zacchaeus is a model for us. His story reminds us to have simple, even, even childlike faith, to trust enough to take the risk of faith, to trust that Jesus desires to encounter us even with all our flaws. And so we come to Jesus in the midst of a commitment to change our lives, and we allow the Lord to change us even further. And so I ask you, as I ask myself, do you want to know Jesus better? Do we want to deepen our friendship with Jesus? Are we willing to climb the trees, metaphorical as they might be? Are we willing to believe with raw faith? Are we willing to put our lives in God's hands? Do we trust that Jesus knows us in all of our flaws and that he still loves us? Do we believe that Jesus strengthens our resolve when we dedicate ourselves to changing our lives? Do we believe that Jesus calls us by name just as he called Zacchaeus by name?